really not anything that they could do about that. So they may as well put him out now. Despite being a strong player. We'll see what he could do. I mean, Guy's a... He's a control character, and of course it's... It would be a separate game, but even psychologically, making a comeback with Guile is, is not in the position that you want to be. You right. really want to set the tone and establish the pace. So even if he can get one solid win, he'll do his job. Definitely. So here we go, establishing fireball game between both of them. A lot of, a lot of neutral jumpers from Kramor's side. Nice counter hit setup. He's heavy on the movement, heavy on the movement. Definitely. And it's definitely important in this matchup because you gotta avoid the fireballs at all costs. Because you don't wanna give God the meter game at first, and then you don't wanna avoid chip damage. Okay, reversal, reversal. Activate. Nice block. Okay. That EX flash kick was huge. That was the equalizer, and the overhead got in the lead. One oh flash kick, he can do it here. Those, uh, his flash kicks are definitely on point today. They've, been, they've hit the mark. Oh, oh, commentator's curse from you. It was. You did it. It was. I admit that. I admit it. Hey, that means you're a real Not commentator. Bad. You're Not official. Bad. You did it. Right. Commentator curse of the major, man. You're here. <laughs> you're here. Oh, oh nice. Use that was up. counter hit. It was late from I'm still the daddy. Oh, was he in recovery? I, I think he pressed the button. I mean, it was a counter hit, so yeah. definitely he did press the button. All right. Nice backhand. Okay. So right now it's about even. I'm not sure. But I'm still daddy has the uh, has the lead. Not a very comfortable lead, and she has more meter. Even if she gets into the right range, she can uh, trade fireball to fireball and get a better uh, damage exchange. <laughs> fireball to EX Fireball, I should say. All right, so he goes to EX Fireball to ensure that he gets to activate safely. Fishing, fishing with the buttons here. Defense is there. Wow, nice. All right, I'm still the daddy making use of it. Oh. Wakes it out and we got an even game here. Shades of Dominion. I'll close it out via Sonic Boom just like he started it. One round of one. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice patience from Craymore. He's looking to find his angle in, but he doesn't want to poorly choose it and give away any free damage. So just take his time. Plenty of time on the clock here. And guess what? He builds meter in the process. That'll be valuable when he gets there. Yeah. Textbook stuff right here. But he's going to have to make something happen eventually. So right now, they both use their EX fireballs. Finally, I'm still the daddy getting one. And, and Jury and, and Kramor is in, is in his corner bit by bit. He's creeping him into that threatening jump in range, too, to the point where uh, I'm still the daddy is afraid. Whether or not to press the button in any air. Chance here. Oh, the flash kicks are on point, as you said. Oh, as nice. Oh, he could have used the jungle state for uh, extended combo, but decides not to. Yeah. Oh, tries to focus. Focus too. Doesn't get it. Oh! Catches him pressing the button. He activates. This might be it. He needs to go right for the overhead in this situation. Oh. He hasn't had it. That, that was his only bet. It was team down back. That means they're blocking down back, right? Go, go for it. Yeah. Not enough overhead. All charge characters in their team. That's what All they charge do. characters. They got Gal, Bibson, and um, Balrog. They're all, down backers. All down backers. Kickstarter down backers. Ever since the beginning. Yeah, Sam for playing a lot of Ryu lately. Playing a lot of Ryu lately. Maybe uh, he's gonna pick him up. I don't know. I feel like he should. He should pick up Ken, in my opinion, because I think he's a really good Ken player. But you know, I feel like we'll, Sanford, we'll he just picks whoever like matches his aura for the day. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, yeah. You're right. Because uh, he feels like a character sucks one day, and you feel like the same character 
will be good the next day. Yeah. <laughs> so all it depends works. on his Sometimes yeah. you're just thinking, yeah. man, I feel like Ryu. I feel like Ryu was very good today. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And in, in this particular matchup, you know, Ryu definitely, definitely can get in, definitely can maximize a, a lot of potential damage. Um, definitely use Tatsu for preemptive. And I know Sanford is really good on hard read, so he'll definitely take the advantage. And he knows this matchup. Yeah. I mean, he plays Dominion all the time. He definitely knows it. He's one of the East Coast strongest players. He has a kind of an ongoing character identity crisis. Floats around between the Shodos. He does very well with all uh, most of them these days. The read, right on the edge of where that Tatsu was threatening. But that's the knowledge of the matchup. Right. And yeah. now, now he's afraid to throw that Sonic Boom. He's afraid. And that gives him four fireballs. He gets out of it. Just off of that one Tatsu, the threat that he's established, he's making him jump. He doesn't want to throw that mid-range Sonic Boom anymore. Right. Put it away. And that, and that goes beyond the game, man. A lot of people think there's not, there's not a lot of thought that goes behind this, but oh, as you can see, it does. He's established now the space. He's bought himself the space to jump in now. Yeah. Wow, it's about even right now. Nice use of, low, of the low floor. Max distance. Oh, we've seen this earlier today. Not American Daigo. He is a showman. I'll give him that. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to win this one out the old-fashioned way. Look oh, for the wow. jump. Oh, tries to look for the Sonic Boom with the Tatsu. He's gonna punish. Oh. Stan Roundhouse will get him. If he had had charge, he would have been able to punish that uh, Crouch Roundhouse on block. Definitely. I'm not sure if he had it. Oh, I love the ugly kick. <laughs> back. Ugliest backhand. kick. Yeah. That, that kick is kind of it's, <laughs> it's really ugly. It is not a nice looking kick. There's really no other way to put it. It's ugly. Okay, does back guys. Gets hit with backhand. A lot of plasma getting chucked right now. Making it feel like 1992. Well, yeah. I guess, uh, what is it, 94 with the knee bazooka in there. <laughs> the ugliest kick again. Oh, lands on the fireball. Oh, really established in his dominance now. Certain control of the neutral game. Better placement on the Sonic Booms and the ugly kicks are holding him down. All right, man, burning all his resources just to try to get him to the corner. Oh, no anti-air. Nice jumping. I'm Soda Daddy. The UK's own. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is he doing? Uh -oh. These guys all know how to fight Guile? Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. Right We're now. about to actually find out who's the daddy now. Who is the daddy? Who is the daddy? Yo, Stream, who's the daddy? That could be only one. In the end, there could be only one. Stellar play from I'm Still the Daddy, active Guile. He, uh,. Doesn't really look like he feels the need to sit on charge like like many guiles, many lesser guiles, or many alternate guiles. First move around the screen, and you know he does a good job of maintaining his charge, so he doesn't have to sit there and and look for his charge for his sonic booms. Oh, I was about to say, what? what's going on? The mirror match. Well, so they're both going to use Ultra 2. Makes it very understandable. This one should be exciting. A lot of rooms, a lot, a lot of rooms. I mean, this is a classic kind of a Street Fire match. One of the thinking, thinking man's type of matchups. It'll be tough for either player to score any significant damage at once, at a clip. But there's going to be a, a lot of posturing, a lot of setups behind the Sonic Booms. 
Might have spoken too soon. It looks like I'm still a daddy. Doesn't want to slow down the pace. First to rely on activity, get offensive, establish a lead yeah. before we go to the Sonic Boom game. And then he forces Dominion to come to him. That's the plan. And I see a lot of, there's going to be a lot of jump ins, like as so right now. Oh! Wow. Nice. <laughs> Stunned from seemingly out of we nowhere. Some, we got some styling. We got some styling. I'm liking this already. We're going to see who the real daddy is. My minion has entered the freighter. Put a stop to these OCVs. Dominion's just using response to his Sonic Booms now. Not looking to overextend himself. <laughs> Trying in the jump in. He's not playing the Sonic Boom game. Just wants to jump. Playing the playing what a game that is risky against a lot of characters, but Kyle doesn't get a lot off of an anti air. So why not? Okay. Okay, nice little four. You'll get a lot off of the comp of, off of the jump in combo compared to the uh, the the fierce that he's gonna get off of the anti air. So why not take a little bit of a risk? Oh nice jump in. Goes for the inside. Oh! Jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in. And the thing is, if you let go of your charge, there's not really much you can do. And if you're not prepared for it, you're not gonna press the right button. Did you get out of here? <laughs> but yeah, shout out to McDonald's again. That's very nice of him. I'm sorry that I was mean. I do want some fries. I didn't mean to push him, but no, you good, you good. I didn't want I didn't want to decline the product, the quality of the product, so here I am. Tampa Bison up, okay. Oh god, we all know how this matchup's gonna be. <laughs> if you thought Guile versus Guile was a slow one, I mean it wasn't. These guys played it pretty quickly. And but this, this is another match that maybe at this point, you know. We'll see something different and kind of an all-out assault because you know that if the mask gets in the position where a guy can dominate and dictate, then he's going to dominate. Right. It's a little bit better because Bison can now go through fireballs. Yeah. So it's a little bit better. You got something. But still, like, it's still kind of bad. Yeah. It's still kind of bad. Not great. Right. Not great. Definitely not in his favor, but I like to justify that by, uh, you know, Guy's clearly the hero and Bison the villain. Yeah. So why would Guile not win against Bison? Come it's on. kind of fitting. It doesn't know? make any sense. It is fitting yeah. that Guile does beat him. And he's really not that good against most other characters, <laughs> but he's really good against the bad guy. Yeah. So it makes sense to me. I mean, I'm not going to begrudge him now. <laughs> okay, nice use of the Sonic Boom and the follow-up. Oh. And like we said, this matchup sucks because it seems like everything that Bison does, Guile can just answer for. But Tampa Bice is definitely doing his best. Okay. <coughs> Try the EX head stop. But the thing about it that makes this matchup so difficult is just Gal, Gal has that good recovery. And then Bison has to follow up after the recovery of yeah. Sonic Boom. Yeah. But type of Bison gets the first round. Impressive. Got a lot out of pushing him in the corner. Some of those stand roundhouses on a tip. You won't really be able to get those mid-screens, so. Great usage of the position. Looks like he knows what to do in this matchup. Yeah, he's definitely scouted out the, the, the Sonic Boom, doing a lot of jumping. He is forced to buttons. make some hard reads. In the last round, he got a lot out of them, but we talked about it earlier. When you start making these hard reads, you will eventually put yourself in a risky situation. Yeah. You'll open yourself up. Oh, had that been the EX. Uh-oh. Oh no, Dimenia is making him and making the way to the third round a little bit. Will, uh, there, will there be a third round? Oh! That's the error. Wow. The error. Infiltration's like, wow. That was, really just that, happened. That was an error from, from Dominion. He looked at that jump in and thought, I can anti-air that, but he recognized it too late. And he just got counter hit. He didn't even get the trade. He should have at worst gotten a trade, but it was late. 
because he hesitated on his reaction, and that was just a bit of an error. And it was, uh, it was what, what we called for. Tampa Bison pushing the pace of the matchup, right. not letting that man get to the point where he